Hello Aries, this is the Tarot Queen Jamila, and I am here to do your Tantric Breath, Tantric Breathe Deeply Twin Lover Psychic Reading. <laughs> that was a, I had to actually sit down and think of that title. Seriously, it was not easy, because um, I am going to do a Breathe Deeply spread for you, but this is also uh, Tantric in nature, so that's why I put that in the title. And so this is for uh, Twin Flame Lovers. Um, so this one is not for the singles. But um, this reading is going to be a five-card spread or more. And uh, so I'm going to draw significators for uh, Aries and then Aries partner. Um, so I'm just going to call to the spirits, spirits for the Aries for December 2016. I want to look at a significator for the Aries and their twin flame or soulmate. Or whatever relationship okay um, that they are in all right so I want a significator for the Aries and then a significator for Aries partner and in that order in that order <laughs> and then I couldn't help it y'all I had to go there okay so let's talk about uh, why I'm doing this spread um, I am a yoga enthusiast okay Aries so um, Breathing is so important. Um, it's connected with your ability to communicate. It's also connected with your ability to get oxygen to your brain. So it's very important to do that so that you can think straight, okay? So that's why I decided to do these. And I really want to do like a yoga breathing session um, for lovers. And it is tantric and... Um, there's a couple of breathing techniques that I am thinking of myself, and then there's a couple that are pretty popular, so um, it's something that we'll talk about, but I'll just first throw the significators for you, because I get the sense that for the Aries, um, there might be some things going on, so let's see. Excuse me. <clears throat> All right, so I'm just going to draw the significators, and then I'm going to throw the other uh, three cards. Okay, you see that? All right, so that is Aries, the Ten of Swords, and then the... Knight of Pentacles, and I don't know what happened with my other selenite wand that I usually use for readings. This one's a little bit chunkier, but anyway, and it's just, it's not as glow essent as the other one, because the other one I had... I had actually... Um, that one was meant for my readings and this one just I don't know I just I don't really feel right about using it for readings <sighs> anyway <clears throat> I'm a, oh goodness I just I think I just got candle wax on it <laughs> I'm just gonna put that up there y'all all right so I'm just gonna use my hands all right, so I'm going to draw out the other three cards, and sorry that took so long. I'm sorry I had to do that. Okay, so spirits, I want to know what does uh, Aries need to inhale? So this is about breathing deeply. So this is about inhaling, holding it, and exhaling it. Um, also being able to make certain sounds with that so i'm gonna be uh, talking to you guys about that so make sure that you subscribe because i will be doing those live with you guys um and then also showing anxiety sufferers how they can um you know uh, just doing breathing and now anxiety is a little bit deeper but anyway so what does the aries need to take in which is inhale what does the aries need to hold on to and what does the aries need to let go of so this is inhale x this is inhale hold and exhale okay 
So this is in your relationship, okay? This is for both. So not just, this is in your general overall relationship. So you can actually uh, start to heal. Um, or, you know, at least learn to start uh, making things better, okay? Which is healing, I guess you could say. I think that the Aries feels as though there's no way to heal. And that's what the spirits just told me. That you feel like once it's damaged, it's damaged and you don't want to heal. It's kind of like that. Or maybe that's just not, maybe not the energy that you are feeling all the time, but maybe at the moment. Okay. Um. I do know that Aries have a tendency to be the mass, uh, one of the masochists of the Zodiac. There's the Cancer, the Pisces, um, and then the Aries. So I think that it's a, you know, kind of like um, is what I'm feeling. And so it's kind of like it's it's an intrigue that comes that's coming in your relationship. I feel as though it's a cycle of you know, negative actions or just something negative in nature, okay? Um, all right, so let me put your significators together. Now, the Aries partner is the Knight of Pentacles. Seems like the partner... Um, Could possibly be going in the other direction possibly yeah there's definitely some 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 situations going on there that's why I laid that next card down now what you need to take in your relationship is I feel like there were good times in the past and that's what you need to focus on and so for it to come up for the significator for the Aries with this ten of swords I feel as though there was either maybe just recently some sort of argument I feel like it's definitely coming from um, the Aries side, no matter if it's male or female. This is definitely family that probably doesn't... I, I don't feel like it's family. I feel like it's friends. It's some sort of, you know, I, I feel like just recently there was some sort of uh, pain or loss, maybe, possibly. Or maybe now the 10 indicates that you are completing a negative phase in your life. But I mean, that could last for a while. So what you need to take in um, and is, is just the happiness. You know, don't absorb so much of the negativity. Okay, so I feel like the negativity is coming from family and the Ten of Swords represents the negativity that is coming from either your family or both sides of your family within your relationship because, you know, this is a couple's reading. This is not a singles reading. You know, this is for people that are involved with each other, you know, or, um, you know, even maybe if you're making plans to be involved with each other, you know what I'm saying? It just depends on the individual circumstance. But I still feel like there are some happy times that need to be focused on. And that's what you need to take in right now um, together. What you need to hold on to is the Ten of Cups. So, there is a completion that you feel within your relationship with each other.
But I almost feel as though there's probably some more difficult situations going on. So what you need to let go of um, is there is probably a parental figure that doesn't necessarily approve of the relationship. And if it's not a parental figure, it could be a friend or just someone that your partner, um, they're looking for their approval. So that's why that hierophant came up next. But, you know, uh, what needs to be let go of is just this inability of, you know, um, making decisions yourself. Like, there's somebody probably that you're going to, and you might be telling them everything about your relationship. And so that's where all this drama and chaos is coming from. You know, the Two of Swords means that you're at a crossroads because of your inability to make decisions between each other. So you're allowing too many other people. This is gossip and scandal and, you know, people talking and everybody else involved in your relationship that shouldn't be. That's what all that is. Um, I don't know if I need to wipe off. Hold on a second. I'm sorry. Yeah, that needed to be wiped off. It just kind of looks blurry, and it was. Okay. And some of the cards are kind of like all off of the thing. Uh, I don't like the way that looks on the camera, so I'm just going to do it like that, guys. It looks just... I have kind of this OCD thing. Okay, I don't want my stuff looking sloppy. So here's what's going on, Aries. <laughs> You're at a crossroads in your relationship, probably right now. I see both ways and see this person, this is an earth sign individual. Um, or maybe they're just extremely sensitive. They're like, uh-uh, I can't deal. You know, they're not saying, oh, I hate you, I, I can't stand you. You know, they are they still care about you and love you. And, you know, but they can't deal with you when you're going through this. Mm -mm. They, they like, uh-uh. And I think that it could be um, on both sides, possibly, like I said, with it being the 10. But this is an, your, you know, your relationship is probably, um, you're, you know, or either you're thinking that or you're fearing it, okay? Um, it's probably at a crossroads because of, the inability to make conscious decisions for yourself you're going by way too many other people's opinions and so you're you don't trust yourself the two of swords is when you have to trust yourself you know and trust in your own intuition not anybody else's okay now the problem is is that there is this hierophant that comes up so you know aries what this when i'm talking to aries and aries partner what this tells me is that there's some energy, uh, there's chaos surrounding your relationship because there's people that don't approve is what the Hierophant means in a love reading. Um, it can also mean some sort of sacred love union. Maybe there's a, you know, uh, maybe there's a wedding being planned, possibly, or, you know, this is some sort of... Uh, approval from some sort of higher order so like a parental figure or maybe even some sort of organization sometimes a, soror a sorority you know when you are in a sorority or something if you're in college or something or sometimes with your friends you know your friends will sort of have or or the people that you're involved with will sort of you know, uh, decide, oh, well, this person is just not right, and, you know, doesn't fit in with the rest of us, and then you sort of run into a problem. So I feel like that's what your family is doing right now, Aries. I really do. And um, let me just ask spirits to just give Aries some clarity, and what advice would you give for the Hierophant and the Two of Swords? All right, I'm just going to pull one more. One, blah, blah, blah. I cannot talk today. I'm just going to pull one more card, Aries. Um, if 
By the way, I do offer couple therapy sessions, phone phone sessions uh, and readings. So if you are a couple that is having problems, I can help you, okay? Um, and just uh, sometimes it's good to just have a third party. All right, spirits are shuffling. All right, spirits, let's get this answer for the Aries. Okay, you got the two of pentacles. Uh-oh, that ain't good. That can mean a couple of different things, actually. Um, your person right here is not being faithful. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Whether or not it's because the pinnacles stand for sensual pleasure or either money and this is juggling so either your partner could be juggling you and a friend or maybe juggling you and too many people see the knight of pentacles is somebody that likes to help people you know that likes to help people that are sick you know they're uh, very um the energy is just a solid friend so you know, if you do have a partner like this, which stands for the Virgo, Capricorn, um, what's the other one, Taurus, uh, mainly the Virgo and the Capricorn, um, because usually, you know, this is when someone probably is lending themselves, and just the energies and the vibrations of this Two of Pentacles is showing that there's somebody stepping outside, maybe helping someone someone else within your relationship maybe your partner has been doing that and it's been pissing you off you've been yelling screaming throwing dishes probably you know acting a fool over it and you know i think it's it's led to you know some sort of crossroads and i you know i kind of feel as though this could be a family related issue so again I kind of feel like Aries might be a little jealous of their partner's family. Okay? And it might you might have good cause for it, you know, because you know, it but I think that it's a possibility that it is possible possible of your own doing. You know what I'm saying? Um just because the 10 of swords comes up as the significator for you in your partnership Aries. So there's something that you're tripping about, but I think that it's also, it could be that you, you may be accusing your partner of cheating and they're not. Maybe they're just at work. Maybe you are accusing them um, and they're, they're just working because these are workaholics right here. So your partner might be a workaholic. So an uh, Aries and an uh, earth sign energy person would actually be a good match together. Um... So I kind of get the sense that your partner is probably an earth sign or maybe they've got to have earth sign somewhere in their chart. Um, if they're not, then this is an Aquarius then because I always see Aquarius in that. But it just, I feel as though they're just very sensitive. They're very warm and, you know, they're just, they're kind of not going to relent on what they're doing, you know. And I do think it could be their job. You know, it could be their job. <laughs> and nine times out of ten it is, especially with this Two of Pentacles. Uh, the next card that comes up is the King of Swords. Yeah. This is probably an older brother of yours. Um, probably somebody that is in opposition of your relationship. Or maybe they have been trying to get you to see something clear. Oh, they telling you to move on. You know what I'm saying? Because there is another choice for you. Another uh, fire sign individual, actually. But it looks like, and I believe that you do like this person. But, and see, this is what this Two of Swords is about also. This could be Crossroads Confusing Lovers. 
could be an opportunity, a job that you are thinking about leaving for, maybe your partner is thinking about leaving for or has decided to leave for, and it's bothering you. Absolutely, just kind of throwing, throwing more cards to see it more clearly. Um, or maybe it could be an opportunity that you have, Aries, that would require some travel um, or maybe just open doors for you. Maybe it's not even travel, just open doors that might balance and complete things for you. Um, you know, but this relationship is really, really uh, whatever it is that you're going through. Um, and I can see that it does involve family. You know, um, so I feel like it could be an argument with your partner about maybe them being there too much for a family member, them spending too much time with that person, and you're ready to kind of, you know, because you're feeling like they're probably spending more time with that person than you, and you're ready to sort of, you know, get out of that. You're ready to, you know. And so the King of Swords, you know, he's probably some, he probably represents somebody in your life already that's been telling you that. Or maybe even, you know, a thought, maybe a fleeting thought in your mind, you know, because this is about thought process and intuition. So he does represent air energy, which represents thought. <laughs> so could represent your thoughts, okay? Anyway, Aries, that's going to do it. <coughs> your final outcome card is the world card, though. So I do kind of feel as though on some levels that's very positive for you regardless of everything else that we talked about in your relationship. Um, maybe this could mean that you... need to open... Maybe you need to be a little bit more open. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you're being a little too close-minded. And you're not able to feel balanced and complete with your partner. And it has something to do with either the job or somebody at the job. I can see it all in the cards. So anyway, if you need a personal reading, you know where I'm at. The link to my website is in the video description box below. Um, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. You can also support the channel um, by hitting the thumbs up button. Um, and you can also donate to the channel to keep the, the readings coming for the channels because what ends up happening is that if you are a subscriber and you're at a flow with my readings and you've connected with the online readings and you don't choose to get a private reading, what ends up happening is that if you don't support the channel, when people that want private readings, because I do, I do a lot of private readings, then they will, uh, you know, they'll just buy readings and so um anyway thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time namaste